Hello! I've never added someone to a live, so hopefully Delia and I, Delia, did I pronounce that correctly? We'll be able to figure this out. Hello, everybody. I'm going to give it a few minutes, I guess, before I try to add her. I don't know. <laughs> I'm in my car, BT dubs to anyone who is wondering, because my five month old is in the house with my child care. He's not alone. <laughs> my friend's in there with him. But just in case he gets a little loud, it's gonna be quietest out here. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Let's see, go live with. I'm gonna, Delia, I'm going to click this thing that says go live with Moon Goddess 555. I think this is how we do it. I used to go live on TikTok all the time and then my account got shadow banned. Y'all, I got up to 50,000, over 50,000 followers on TikTok. And I, my, I'm totally shadow banned. I get like 200 views maybe if I'm lucky on my videos and they never show my stuff to anyone new. And so I, I lose followers. I have like, I've lost like 2000 followers in the last year because they don't show my stuff to anyone. So anyway, excuse me, my, um, I made a new TikTok, but it, um, let's see people. Okay. I'm going to hold on. Okay. I'm going to. Oh, except you already sent me a thing. I sent the invitation thingy. Yay! Me? I can! Oh. There's your beautiful face. I've never done this before. I'm like, oh. I've never done a co host thing either, so we're just going to learn together. Okay. I'm, I'm here for Yay. it. <laughs> Yay. I'm so excited. Your energy is so Yay. beautiful. I'm so excited oh, to do this. Thank you. You're too. I feel like I know you. Like, you feel like a friend. I'm like, I feel like I've known her for we, like 20 years. We should definitely, if you want to, we can ask in the regression, like, oh. how we, what our connection okay. is. I have to tell you, okay, yeah. this is a, a Lionsgate portal request. It is. Right. I, when you put that in the chat, I was like, what? Absolutely. Divine timing, it. right? <laughs> yeah. I, my, yeah. Mom was, my mom was like, how did that happen? I'm like, that just, that Lions portal, gate portal is legit. Like, I know, know like, right? It's I'm so excited. open, so it's welcome. Yeah. Manifested. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep. Well, do you have any questions or anything? No, I'm totally open. I'm, I'm, I'm totally ready yeah. for this. Oh, I'm I, so excited. I wanted to, and also, I wanted to book with you for my birthday, which is in like three weeks. I'm oh, that's so funny. You, this whole thing is like, wow. You, know? <laughs> you, you are apparently really in alignment. Yeah. <laughs> the universe was I'm like, excited. oh, that's what you want? Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. I, you're always commenting on all my stuff, and you've always been so supportive. And I saw you express interest, and I was like, feels like, like that's who I need to go with. So, oh, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. For everyone watching and listening, I'm. This is a past life regression. Okay, so a past life regression differs from a past life reading, in that a reading is done for you by someone else like the reader reads your energy and taps into your past lives and then tells you what their interpretation of the energy is and in past life regression um the practitioner actually regresses you to <clears throat> your past life like you get walked into the energy of that past life so that you can access it and Understand it and oh, man, interpret are you it. Kidding me? However, you need to. Are, the maintenance guys here right now. Oh no! Oh, I'm that's so okay. It's divine. Go do whatever you need to do. One minute. Yeah, no, no problem. That's always funny when those things happen. I'm like, hmm, what's? 
I'm yeah, doing a live session mention. right now. I'm doing a live session right now. I'm just here for a session. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're all over. I just put down the mess. And there's one in the closet too. It scared me. A whole mess in there. Okay. Um. Oh, let me just get my keys. While she's gone, I'm happy to answer questions if anybody has questions about path life regression. Uh, <laughs> Is Thank you. Okay, and they're all over the patio too. Thank you, sir. Sorry, guys. No worries. I'm like, they would come right now. <laughs> of course they would. <sighs> so what do you do? What do you do for work? I work in accounting. I worked in accounting for years. Nice. Uh, and I'm a finger and oh, nice. a tarot card nice. reader. Oh, I love psychic it. medium. Yeah. Cool okay. <laughs> Have you ever thought about trying to like transition away from yes. like the the 3D work stuff and more into the woo yes. work stuff? That's cool. We, we do you want to ask anything need... about that? Yeah. When you put that okay. in your, you put, posted that the other day, you're like, why are you doing this like 3D stuff? Mm -hmm. Why don't you transition? Yeah. Especially if you feel like you're supposed to be doing this. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I need to hit her, her up. And that was right after I got like something in meditation that was saying, you're going to be connected to a spiritual community soon. Oh yeah. And your life is going to change. And I, I've, I've even seen where I'm, I'm going to be moving. Mm -hmm. I've seen the exact oh, house please. that I'm going to be living in. Like I feel the change change is coming I, I've yeah had that since I was a child like I always felt when the transitions are coming right and I, and I feel it and everything is just lining up you know so yeah, yeah. I'm, them, I'm, I'm excited I'm gonna I need going. to write that down so I don't forget I'm gonna I'll ask about your I don't know career and stuff like that um Someone asked about how long the course takes. The course, I mean, it's really self-paced. So if you're like a fast reader and you really like process and obtain information quickly, I mean, three or four days. I mean, just a couple hours a day. It really depends. Um, for someone who wants to like really take their time and like maybe they have a harder time with like listening to information, really taking it in, maybe it'll be a week or two. Um, and part of the course is listening to sessions. They're like an hour and a half long each. They're on my YouTube actually. Um, and so that's like, you know, five. So that's like seven or eight hours worth. And so, you know, if you listen to those quickly or if you only listen to one or two and you're like i'm good i got this energy down like then it's even shorter i'm really open to like letting people decide like i feel like people i trust everyone to know their own journey in themselves and like know how much instruction they need before they can start taking clients and seeing people so it really doesn't take that long i don't think we don't have to complicate everything i feel like i feel like part of uh being on the earth right now is everything gets so it's just difficult and there's so many layers to everything and we always i don't know have to be stressed about it all and it's like some big process and that just doesn't resonate so i feel like my course is pretty straightforward and easy and it shouldn't take super long so i don't know there's that <laughs> okay. all right to wrote that down do you are the maintenance people okay or do do she yeah. wait a few minutes like is he kind of no, doing he's, some he's stuff done, or... done. okay oh wow oh that was fast okay yeah <laughs> sounds good well i think we should be ready um did you have any other questions or did you want to like get anything else ready or whatever before we get started uh any questions other than the questionnaire I filled yeah. out or yeah. yeah. Do you have any questions for me or um, anything I should know or anything? Uh I've always just been really deeply spiritual. I've always felt like um I'm not from this planet, you know, all the things. Yeah. So yeah. um okay. when I discovered Dolores Cannon, it was like a love letter from home, you know. Yeah, right. And, I know. Same. She was my yeah. introduction to all of this too. <laughs> 
I was like, oh my gosh, you know, and she just opened up this whole world and it just, I always wanted to take her classes and courses. So all of this is so cool. I'm so excited. Yeah, oh, I'm so excited too. All right. Um, in the, in the seat that you're sitting in, are you able to like recline just a little bit so that you can like lay back and get somewhat comfortable? You would you would um, ideally want to be comfortable enough that you could like nod off or take a nap. So sitting upright doesn't always work super well, but if you can kind of like lean back and be kind of cozy, that would be ideal. Um, maybe move maybe move this pillow because it's. I mean, it's like you know an hour, hour and a half, and some people can get into the right state of mind if their physical body isn't super cozy, but it can be so distracting if you're like, oh my God, my neck hurts, you know what I mean? Or like, oh my gosh, my back or whatever. So just want to make sure you're I'm, comfortable. I'm used to meditating for hours, so I think. Oh, and okay. <laughs> and are you usually like more upright when you do that? Uh, well, if I, if I lay down, I'll fall asleep. <laughs> so well, there we go. If I really oh. want to meditate, I will be upright. So I'll okay, fall good. asleep. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. All right. Well, well, I suppose that we can get started. If you want to just, um, just close your eyes. I mean, it's, you know, just a stranger on the internet and all of our 20 friends that are here <laughs> watching you. No pressure. It's not awkward at all. <laughs> um, you just close your eyes and start to relax. You can take some deep breaths into your nose and out through your mouth. I can kind of, you know, help. I know you have probably a whole routine for your own meditation. So yeah, you can just, in. <laughs> yeah, good. So just go ahead and close your eyes and take some deep breaths. And for everyone who's like watching the live and stuff, you'll probably see me like staring off, like not looking at the camera. I don't know what the energy, the energetic meaning is behind that, but I concentrate better. I don't know, see energy or something. So if you see me staring off, I'm not distracted. I just, I don't know, staring at myself isn't very helpful for me. So I'm here and I'm present. I just don't always look at the screen the whole time. For everyone who's okay in here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you feel called to do. Okay. Yep. All right. So uh, just release, let go of anything that's no longer serving you. It sounds so cliche, but just setting that intention is so helpful. Remembering that you are powerful and you are the one who is here to answer all of your own questions. You don't need someone outside of you to give you those answers. Um, and it's important to remember that this entire session has been facilitated by you and by your higher self um, to bring you the energy that you need today at this point in your journey. So, so even events that seem disruptive or negative from an outside perspective, like disruptions or technical glitches or whatever, they're always divine and they're not a big deal. So if we get disconnected or disrupted or interrupted, just take a deep breath and we'll reconnect back here on the live. No worries and no stress. <clears throat> I want you to continue to take those deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just setting the intention to release Go of anything yeah, I, that's no longer I'm sleeping. Already, I'm already in a room with a whole bunch of wow, they're all here. Oh yeah. They've been waiting. Why don't you ask? For this. Oh, I oh, love man, it. They, they knew well they knew it was coming. There's, oh my there's a whole room of a, hi guys. It's so good to see you. I see I never see them, I just hear them and they talk a lot. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh, You've oh, got a yeah. visible room. So this, so this is so good to see you. Oh, it's like a family reunion. Oh my god, we're mm. oh, thank you guys so much. Thank you for being with me. You're, you're so supported. They're so excited to see you, aren't they? It's, been, it's felt like a thousand years. Yeah. But it hasn't been long at all. I'm only 45. 
Right. 46, 46 rooms. But yeah. it's been like a thousand years being here. But they're telling yeah. me, you chose to come. You wanted to come in the time during President Obama. <laughs> I didn't know it would be this hard, though. Jeez. My goodness. <laughs> and I didn't know it would be so hard to be a black woman. I did not know. Right. I wanted, I wanted to be a black woman because yeah. uh, it was part of the karma. Yeah. Oh, God, they're all here. Hi, everybody. Oh, my goodness. They have a lot to say. Yeah. It's going to be a long session. Oof. That's all okay. Right. Just keep, keep your breathing, <clears throat> relaxing and letting go, slipping even further, more and more. Letting that conscious mind take a step back. Conscious mind gets a little vacay today. Your higher self and your guides are here to take over for you. Just feeling all of that beautiful divine energy moving through your physical body. Encouraging your conscious mind to take a step back. It'll still be present, most likely. But it is going to... Hold hands with your higher self so that the two of you can move through this together. You can imagine your heart breathing that air in and moving it throughout your body. Your heart moving all of that beautiful divine energy, connecting your heart. Your mind. Do I just start talking? They're, they're saying that. I mean, it's like a mile a minute. I'm just getting like. Yeah. Do I just, tell them. Tell them to hold on for a minute. You're the boss, so let them know. Let them know we're, we're getting there. <laughs> they're so excited. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just take a deep breath and kind of relax. We're calling in pure source energy today. Galactic being ancestors and soul family who you've all you've clearly already met they're all there waiting <laughs> uh, and it's important to remember that we're both divinely protected for this session our protector guides are present both light and dark our angels and our spirit team is here to hold space for both of us to provide an energetic boundary as we move through the session feeling the ultimate protection of divine source energy surrounding us comforting peaceful and safe letting go of that conscious mind the ego or the human part letting it go just fading to the background allowing your higher self to step forward, continuing to breathe <clears throat> in and out with intention, bringing in that beautiful divine energy, releasing anything that's no longer serving you, just breathing in and out. Today, you have set the intention to awaken in your dormant gifts. Receive some guidance and direction. Understand the next steps for your journey. Understand a little bit about your spiritual career. Receive physical healing. Whatever the divine would like you to know about those topics, you're open to receiving it with love and gratitude today. Isn't that right? Perfect. As you process the information today, you'll probably do it by seeing it and hearing it, but other avenues may open up as well, feeling and knowing. Just trust that the way it comes through for you is exactly the way that it's meant to present today during this part of your spiritual journey. This information is ever present it's always available it's always there it wants to connect with you and you want to connect with it isn't that right yeah sometimes 
we convince ourselves that it's not there, we might say, I don't see it or I don't hear it. It must not be there, but it is it's there. It's always available to you. You just have to trust in your own ability to tap into it. I will ask for permission before speaking with your higher self. And sometimes it can feel a little bit awkward or silly to say yes to that question if you're still very consciously present. Um, but just know that saying yes is an important way to get to the next part of the session. So even if it feels a little silly or arbitrary, it's just an important way to set your intention to let your higher self know that you're ready, that you trust, that you feel safe. Every bit of energy that you need in order to heal and to gain understanding today, you've already called in to assist you. All of it exists within the beautiful healing space that you created in the quantum when you answered those questions. Our higher selves already got together and laid the energetic foundation for this to happen. That's your personal healing space in the quantum. And you're in it right, right now, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. How does it feel to, to be in your own personal healing space? Blue. <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess like water, cosmic water. Yeah, I love that. I want you to remember that as we move through these senses, these different experiences, you'll fall deeper and deeper, being more and more relaxed, moving through all of your senses, your conscious mind stepping back more and more, allowing your divine guidance, your higher self, to step forward, bring you healing and insight, get your questions answered. The more we engage, the further we get, the more you'll be able to let go of your conscious mind. Now I want to talk for just a minute about the sigils that you picked out for love, healing, and your higher self. Love is the sun, it's the ocean, it's wet sand and rain-soaked soil. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Healing is pink and green crystals. And the higher self is an itchy, runny nose or feeling heart palpitations. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. During our session today, I want you to carry a box or a bag or a purse with you. I want you to just imagine that you've got that with you during our session today. And when we start off, it's empty. Or maybe it's not empty. Maybe those things are already present in there. But as we move through the session, the representation, the energy of love, of healing, and of your higher self will be present in that bag. And I'll probably we ask you once or twice to get into your box or your bag or your purse to see which of those elements are present. What is it that your box or your bag or your purse looks like? Can you describe it for me? It looks like a seashell. She oh. Was totally, she would totally rock this bag. Yeah. It looks like a giant seashell. That's beautiful. Well, I want you to just keep that with you. It's present. You don't have to do much with it, but just know that that seashell bag to carry all this divine energy is with you as you move through the session. I want you to just follow my voice now, just relaxing and following the energy of your higher self, allowing you your team to guide you as we move through the session today. I want you to think about the visuals you wrote down that bring you so much 
comfort and peace, beautiful waves in the ocean, Sedona, beautiful trees, just taking those things in, whatever energy or messages that those things bring, allowing them in as we move through the session. And then thinking about how much you love the sound of waves, soft piano music, or a beautiful choir singing, peaceful, relaxing, and beautiful, allowing those energies in. And then moving on to the scent of peppermint, so fresh and so clean, the smell of jasmine, the smell of lavender, just allowing those beautiful scents, any messages, downloads, information that those experiences have, allowing them in. And then moving on to taste citrus, cinnamon, and clove. Just delicious and comforting, allowing those energies to anchor in. I want you to get into your little seashell bag. You don't necessarily have to look in it. You can just feel into it. You can just know what's present in there. Do you feel the presence of love, of healing, or of your higher self yet? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Are they all three in there? Yeah, I see my planet. The planets I used to play with up here. Yeah. You're so supported today. You're supported every day, actually. Okay. Next. I want you to imagine yourself stretching, moving your physical body, taking some deep breaths, taking a nice, long, hot shower, enjoying those physical sensations, relaxing and peaceful. So much love and so much peace. And now, thinking about the element of fire, looking at beautiful candles, crystal lamps, even a bonfire, watching the flames, listening to the fire crackle and pop, just enjoying that, taking that energy in. And then water, thinking about how nice it is, refreshing and relaxing to take a shower, to be in the ocean, to be near a river, just really tapping into and appreciating the energy, the cleansing, the release that water brings. And then Picturing yourself outside in a hot air balloon. Imagining yourself just moving through the sky. Enjoying looking at the view. Feeling so safe, so comfortable, so cozy. Enjoying the ride. And then realizing that you're moving further and further away from Earth through our atmosphere, moving not only through space, but time as well and different dimensions, just floating and moving along. You're allowing yourself to be guided by the energy of your higher self, moving and floating to exactly the place that you need to go today. 
your higher self is guiding you to the most important day, the most important experience for you to see, to bring you understanding, to bring you healing today. You're just moving and floating, guided by by your higher self, you start to see this location, this place, this important day coming into focus. And as you take a look around in this new space that you're in, I want you to tell me what the first thing is that you see or hear or notice in this new space. Hard to describe. It looks like uh, an amethyst swirl. Yeah. Everything purple. Everything's purple. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Yeah. Do you have a physical body? We are council. We are our council. Tell me more about this council. We are Arcturian council. Ah, hi guys. <laughs> hi, Daily. <laughs> tell me, tell me more about this space that Delia is in, and why it is that she ended up here today. She is an ancient soul. She came here to help with the shift. Yeah. She calls you strawberry. How long has it been since she has been on the council? She's one of the original ones. Why did she leave? To help. Yeah. How is it that she helps? She's here to raise the consciousness of humanity. They, they're very far behind. And we, we need them to raise their consciousness. We need to, them to raise their intelligence so that they can enter into the next phase. Why is it important for us to enter into the next phase? Like, why can't we just stay, not, not mediocre, but why can't we just stay where we're at now? Well, it's similar to the rising sun, the sunset and the sunrise. It's just like that. When it's time for the sunrise, the sun rises. When it's time for the sun to set, the sun sets. That's just like the different ages. They are just like the rising rising of the sun and the um, setting of the sun. Right. Yeah. You can't stop it. It's just right. part of it's just part of how things are. Yeah. Mm. Why is it that this session was facilitated for her today? She has felt alone for a very long time. But we've all, we're here with her every day. She knows that, but she doesn't feel our presence in the earthly realm. It's, it's very dense, which most people know. But she just wanted to know that we're here, and we're always here. Yeah. 
she wanted to know how supported she is. She wanted to feel that love and support, didn't she? Yes. What is what is the connection between Delia and I? You will work together. You will travel together. You will teach. Oh, oh you're an ancient soul too. Really. You know. I do. <laughs> you like it here. <laughs> Maybe you'll help her to like it. She doesn't really like it here. Everyone always says, I don't want to come back to Earth. I don't want to come back ever again. And I just know that I, my soul loves doing this. I'm not ever going to stop coming back. <laughs> oh, and that's why we love you. That's why we love <laughs> you. You can come as much as you want. You know you can. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. What is time? Time doesn't matter. I have no. <laughs> infinite time. <laughs> mm -hmm. You've been here many, many times. Yeah. What else would be important for Delia to know from the Arcturian Council? What, what do you guys really want her to take away from this session today? Everything that she has in her arsenal is meant to be used now. No more hiding. Yeah. She was afraid because she said, well, they've killed all the other ones that came before us. I don't want them to kill me. They won't kill her. She's protected. Yeah. I think that that's a big theme for those in our collective right now is... Uh, it's time for us to be seen, but it feels scary because we've done this a lot and it often doesn't end well, but we are really protected, aren't we? Yes, because it's time. The, the Persian aid is done. It, 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 it's at 95% closing. Yeah. So it's time to transition. Mm. Yeah. What is an important way that she can be seen in her everyday life? Just an effortless way for her energy to be the energy of, it's okay for me to be seen. Stop worrying about the opinions of others. They don't matter. Yeah. What matters is to be your true and authentic self. Don't worry about not saying the right things, not going to the... Everything that she does is guided. Yeah. So don't worry. All you have to do is just be. It's very simple. Yeah. She mm. worries a lot. Yeah. That's part of the Earth experience, I think, is worrying, allowing that conditioning in and taking all of that on. We all experience it as children when we don't know any better and then as we get older and we're able to make our own decisions and move through our our wounds and our traumas we're allowed to make, make the choice do we want to carry that with us still do we want to spend our time on earth worrying or do we want to just let it go and it sounds like for a lot of us right now it's time to let it go well, we don't really understand why you worry so much, especially when your lives are so short. But it's good for us to be reminded, and she reminds us all the time. Yeah. Why do the Arcturians care at all about humans anyway? Like, why, why would an Arcturian <laughs> see Earth and think, I should leave this life that I'm in now, and I should go incarnate there for a while? Like, why? We're all family. We're all part, part of the galactic family. We're all part of the one. Yeah. And for some reason, Earthlings don't believe that they are more than what they are. Right. Because they're isolated. When you're isolated, you can begin to feel like you're the only one. But they're not. Right. Yeah. Hmm. How can, um, what, what advice? do you have for some of the people listening and watching this 
um, trans this transmission. What advice do you have for them about being able to tap into some of this wisdom and this energy that you're bringing forward in the session right now? Listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Stop giving your power away. Why? Why do you give your power away to people who don't even know who you are? You allow them to control everything about you. You allow them to make your decisions. You allow them to dictate what kind of water you drink. Can you imagine that? They allow other people to dictate what kind of water they drink. It, it, it be who you are. Step into your power. Listen to your own voice. A lot of people feel like they don't know the difference between their intuition and their anxiety. What is your advice about that? It's not properly taught. We come into this life knowing exactly who we are. Children know exactly who they are. But they're taught to obey the rules. They're taught the color inside the lines. They're taught to fall in line. And that, that's where the divide comes. They don't trust themselves. Right. Maybe one of the ways then that people can start to tap into their intuition is to tap into their inner child. Think of themselves at whatever age comes to mind when they think of their inner child and ask that aspect of them of themselves, what should I do today? What's the most important oh, thing for me yes. to remember today? Yeah, play. Play yeah. with your children. That's why a lot of people begin to heal when they have children because they remember what it was like right. to be a child, the innocence, the wonder the exploration, oh. maybe remember what it's like to laugh and have fun and see the world. That's what you're meant to do. You're not meant to sit behind a computer and just mindlessly tap out every day yeah. or watch numbing shows mm. that make you feel like hopeless and worthless and like you're nothing. Right. Yeah. You're meant to enjoy life. You're meant to Lord, the world. You're not meant to sit behind the computer screen and tap, tap, tap. We we really don't understand why you would want to spend your life tap, tap, tapping screens when there's a whole world to explore. Why, 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 why do, why do, why do humans tap like to tap screens so much? Yeah. yeah. That, that's you know, that, that's the reason why we, we want to come and be a human, because we want to understand you. We want to understand why do you do the things that you do. We, right. we, want, we want to help you understand that you are meant for more. You're powerful being. You're a highly intelligent, creative being. And there is so much that you can do, but you limit yourself. I think one of the biggest struggles for humans is <clears throat> falling into the energy of lack because we all feel like we're told from a young age we have to go to school because we have to get an education because we have to get a job because we need money to survive. How, because I also believe that humans are very powerful creators, how can humans start creating their own realities where they are infinitely abundant in all ways, financially, emotionally, love, in all of the ways. How do we create that? You understand that you already are all of those things. You don't have to create what you already are. You just right. have to remember. Yeah. You just have to remember who you are. That's all. Right. How do you already are people abundant? You already have everything you need. Anything that you can think of is already yours. If you right. want it, you have it. If you desire it, it's yours. It, it's already yours. Yeah. The, 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 the lie, the, the, the distortion is believing that you lack. 
the lie, the distortion is believing that you can't have what it, why can't you have what is already yours? Right. It's just like when you go through your grocery stores and there's bottles of water sitting on the shelf. Why do, why are there bottles of water sitting on the shelf with, with price tags? That, that water is already yours. Right. It already belongs to you. It doesn't, right. doesn't belong to Nabisco and Pepsi and Coca-Cola and Walt Disney. The world is yours. It belongs to you. Nobody can put a price tag on what already belongs to you. That's mm -hmm. the distortion. That's the illusion. And that's what will crumble. Yeah. The distortion, the illusion is already crumbling. They don't right. like it. They don't like it because they've built their empires on their illusion. They've built their house of cards on their illusion. You cannot put a price tag on what is already yours. Water is already yours. Right. Right. So for for everyone listening, I imagine most of the people on this live, myself included, are listening to this and thinking about their own everyday life as far as abundance and finances that, that's one of the biggest pieces for humans in order to feel freedom and at peace and beingness is being able to recognize that they are able to care for themselves that everything that they want need and desire is already theirs so what does that look like like in in the everyday life of someone who feels like they are in lack and like they need more money do they just wake up and think to themselves i have everything i need i mean is it that simple <laughs> it, really, it really is just walk out of that door yeah. Yeah. have you ever been to the cinema and they turn off the light and they show you the story and you you're for an hour, two hours, three hours, you are in this story. You're in this world. And then suddenly the lights come on and you walk out of the movie theater and you walk right into your regular life. That's exactly yeah. how simple it is. Mm -hmm. This movie theater, this cinema that humans have been in that was created by the ones that created the film, mm -hmm. they, they start to believe that it's actual real, their real life. Yeah. And all it is is smoke in mirrors. Smoke right. In mirrors. All you yeah. have to do is turn on the lights and walk out the door. Right. Okay. How does that principle apply to something like healing? Um, something that Delia wanted to ask about today um, was finishing what she feels like is her own physical healing journey, and she brought up the topic of fibroids what do you have to say about to her about the topic of health specifically fibroids the fibroids are there to teach her they are there to remind her that she's been here before they, they are there to show her she's not finished yet but we can heal her we can take them away from her now what is that process like when you're able to heal her and just take them away? Like, is it instant? Does it take a little bit of time after you've set the intention, after she's allowed it? What is that process? We will ask her to fast for three days, eat no food, drink only water, and they will leave her body. Hmm. Is that something that she, Yeah, and is that something that she is... Is, is that lesson one that she is ready to truly integrate so that those fibroids stay gone after the three days and after they've left initially? Yes, she's held on to it because of the trauma. That's mm -hmm. what it is. It's this, this, this incarnation's trauma and it's past trauma. Yeah. But she's ready to let go now. 
Yes. Yeah. So fasting for three days, just drinking water, and that should be it. Yes. Okay. Is there anything else as far as physical healing or health that she should be aware of at this time? Her eyes. Her eyesight. She did not want to see this world. Um, she didn't want to see. It was difficult for her to see how other humans treat other humans. Mm. If she wants us to heal her eyes, we will. Is that something that she does want? Yes. Okay. Good. Will that be an immediate cure, an immediate fix as well, or will that take some time? It depends on what she wants. Got it. She likes to wear glasses. It's just like you. Yeah. Yep. We both look good with glasses. I like my glasses. They look good on you. <laughs> Thank you. They look like, like you from the, another time. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you. Um, let's see. So, one of the other things that she wanted to ask about was awakening to her gifts and her abilities she feels like they've been dormant for a while and one of the things that you first said when you came through was that it's time it's time for her to step into her power can you speak more on that as far as her gifts and why they've been dormant for this long it's time for all of you all of you listening for a time the ability were blocked because they were misused. There was a time where women were highly, highly powerful, but they misused their power. That's why the men were in charge now. That's the thing about the divine. They like to be fair. They like to be fair, if there was a time where women abuse their power, then they give the men the power. Let's see if the men can do it better. Yeah. Well, do you think yeah. that they did it better? Doesn't seem I, like it. Care. I, I heard the answers. <laughs> so <laughs> now we're coming into a time where we all work together. Where we all work together because we've given you the time where the women were in charge and they were more powerful. We've given you the time where the men were in charge and they were more powerful and both did not do any better, right? Did they did any did they do any better? Yeah, no. Right. Right. So now we're coming into a time where we're going to all work together. So it's time to activate those powers again. It's time to activate those dormant abilities. I'm talking about all the abilities that you've seen in the movies, Harry Potter, all, all those abilities. They're being released to you now. You're ready, mm. but. Un ego, ego, mm -hmm. careful of your ego. That's where it always starts, the ego. When you want to use your powers to hurt people, when you want to use your powers to abuse people, that's where the danger starts. Now, she's been here, we've been here for a very long time. We've seen so many cycles. We've seen all the cycles, and it's always the same pattern. They release the powers, they abuse the powers, they take away the powers. Right. Daily, how can we stop this cycle before it begins again? How can we stop it? I don't know. That's a good question. Well, by observing the trend, you know, you have a thing on earth called a stock market mm -hmm. where they observe trends, right? You have a thing, a place on earth called Vegas yeah. with statisticians that observe the trend. All you have to do is understand this has happened many times before and you stop yourself. You stop yourself. Mm -hmm. The powers are here to assist you. The powers are 
here to up level you for the new age. But don't use power to abuse. Don't use power to hurt people. The powers are here here to assist you. Are we in a better position to use those powers appropriately this time around? I would say you're at 65%. Yeah. The dark ones are still here. The dark ones are still here. But they're not going to be able to transition to the new world, to the new earth, because their vibration is not high enough. Now, the dark ones are part of the all in all. They are. Mm -hmm. But they like to stay in the lower vibration. Why do you think that is, Daily? I don't know. Is that just where it's comfortable for them? Yes. They think it's fun. They think it's fun. They, mm-hmm. oh, they like darkness. Yeah. And to, to, an, to a point, because we've been here as an incarnation, as uh, one who was evil. We've been an incarnation of evil. Because right. she, wanted, she wanted to know what it was like to be a pure evil. And right. as being in an incarnation of pure evil, uh, we, we must admit that it was fun. You know why it was fun, Daily? It was fun because you didn't give a damn. No. They, 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 they have fun. It's fun. Yeah. It's like children at play. Yeah. But there comes a time where you say, okay, we're tired of playing Nintendo. Okay. We're, we're tired of playing Nintendo. We want to play other games. Right. You can play Nintendo as long as you want, but we're not going to all wait here and wait for you to be done playing Nintendo when the rest of us are ready to move on. Yeah. And 65% are ready to move on. That's that's enough enough of a push to say, okay, they're ready. Right. So this transition to New Earth, what's that going to look like? Oh, daily, it's fun. Are you ready to have fun, fun daily? <laughs> I'm pretty ready. <laughs> okay. There's no limitation. The limitations mm-hmm. that are here on Earth now, they're only here because people enjoy them. They have fun playing within those limitations. But there's no limitations in the new Earth. Your yeah. intelligence will increase. Your creative abilities will increase. There is no lack. There is no hunger. Mm-hmm. There is, see, people, some people feel like that is a boring life. When everything is provided for you, when everything, everyone's on the same playing field, some people feel like that's boring. They like the wild, wild west adventures. They mm-hmm. enjoy that. The, the Trumps of the world, they enjoy being who they are. They have yeah. fun with it. Mm-hmm. But the rest of us are ready to move on. We're ready right. to learn new lessons. Okay. What is some of the new energy that Delia is going to be moving into? Oh, Delia is going to have fun. The rest of her life will be fun. She will finally get to be 100% herself. Now, for some people, they will find it frightening. Because yeah. they thought Delia was a timid, silly little girl. Yeah. And she she, she wanted them to think that. <laughs> Ooh, they're going to be in for a surprise when they see how powerful she really is. Most of them mm-hmm. think that she is a witch. <laughs> yeah. They think that of you too, don't they, Daily? Yeah, I don't think people normally know how to take me or <laughs> they don't they don't they just don't usually know about me at all. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Well, she's not a witch. <laughs> no. She has been a witch. What can you Yeah. What can you tell Delia about the visions that she's had about the new place that she's going to be living and where she's supposed to move? I'm concerned. We want to know if she's ready to hear that.
Delia will leave, leave the United States. Oh, wow. Oh. Is she, she's, is she ever? Marry, she's going to marry someone who is from Europe. Oh. What kind of a timeline is she looking at for that? Years. It has something to do with the next election cycle in America. Hmm. What is America the next election cycle going to be like? Turmoil. 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 Yeah. There will be turmoil. Yeah. Nostradamus called it the times of upheaval. Yeah. Warning. Mm -hmm. But you can still change it. Yeah. Hmm. What's the most important thing for people to keep in mind as all of that turmoil is coming up? I mean, there's already turmoil. Hawaii is on fire and there are... <laughs> aliens coming and there's natural disasters no one has any money what like what is the most important thing for us to be keeping in mind the reason why these things are happening Dave, is because we want want you to trust your own intuition right. you've given all your power away right the people that you've given your power to, do you think that they're worthy of having your power? No. Exactly. No. So why do you give them your power? Right. Why do you do what they tell you to do? Right. Why do you fund their, their lives? Right. right. The upheaval comes when people don't, don't listen to their own, own intuition. can people get focused back inward and tap into their intuition again? Take time to be with yourself. Stop tapping on those contraptions and right. listen to yourself. Yeah. Take time to just breathe, breathe and feel the oneness that you are all a part of. None of us are yeah. separated. None of us are separated. We are all part of the oneness. We are all part right. of the all-in-all, all all. and that's what the deep breathing is. Right. It is bringing right. you back into that oneness. It is bringing you back into that fullness. It is quieting the outside world. It is bringing you back into the inside world, which is the real world. And when you quiet that outside world and bring yourself back into the inside world, that's when you begin to hear what you're meant to do. A lot of you on this live, a lot of of you that are listening in the future will be called to move. You will be called to go to different places and it's very important for you to know what your inner voice is telling you. Now more than ever, in the next 10 years, there will be turmoil. Turmoil in a way that you have never seen it before. You will, 2020 was just a precursor. But it's, it's, it's the beginning of the end. It's just the yeah. beginning of the end. Seems like also what you're saying is that it doesn't matter. <laughs> the tour, it's going to look like chaos, but if we Everywhere. don't buy into that and we just look to our own inner peace, then that's what we're that's what our lives will be. It's peaceful and abundant if that's the energy that we're tapping into. Exactly. Got it. Okay. You are the creators of your own world. That's why I say you can change it. Yeah. It's one of the people in the live wants to know, how do we protect ourselves and our loved ones? Listen to your intuition. If you hear don't go that way please listen yeah don't question it just i guess i'm just not going to go that way today follow it immediately yeah. it's very important very important to trust yourself to trust right. your inner in voice don't second guess it 
especially now. Don't second guess that voice. It will literally, in some cases, be the difference between life and death. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no reason to fear. It, it, it's right. just some people have not prepared themselves. There's a, a Christians believe in, uh, there's a story of the Bible that says the oil lamp, the oil lamp. Some will know what I'm talking about, where they, some prepared themselves, they waited for the wedding feast, they had their oil lamps ready. So when the bridegroom came, they were ready, but some did not prepare and they wanted the people who had their oil lamps ready to give them oil. And they said, no, you should have prepared yourself. And because they weren't prepared, they did not enter into the wedding feast. And that's exactly what is happening today. Yeah. Yeah. I think trust is a really important part of that. When we get those, those intuitive hits, not sitting there and analyzing it and second guessing and well, what would everyone else think? And you just trust it and allow it. And, and sometimes it, that doesn't necessarily mean making a decision or doing anything. It just means allowing that to exist without pushing it away. Exactly. You are heavily supported. You are heavily guided. And know that. For some, yeah. some people, this time will not be a time of upheaval, will not be a time of uh, desolation. This will be the best time of their lives. It'll right. be like surfing the wave. Yeah. And as you say that, I, I know that you're talking to me when you say that, and that's only true because I've decided that. Oh, you will be very busy daily. Be prepared. You will be very busy. Right. And it's, that's only true, and that's only the case because I've, I've just decided that, that. I've had a hard 40 years of my life, and I'm done doing that. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be the easy the part of my life years now. of your life, you will want for nothing. Your children will mm -hmm. want for nothing. You will have everything that you want and need. Very wealthy. Yeah. You will be wealthy. Monetary. Not just wealthy in spirit. Not yeah. just wealthy in heart. You will be wealthy. I've been tapping into that recently, and I know it's really close. And I, one of the messages I've gotten recently on my own journey is something actually that Delia just brought up, and that's about being seen. I have to allow myself to be seen in order for my, you know, abundance, in order for my guidance and my future path to be able to connect to me. Because if I'm scared and I don't want to be seen, it's not going to see me in order to be able to come in. <laughs> oh, most of you have been preparing for this your whole life. It's the whole reason why you're here. Right. What is that? Uh, there's a Marvel uh, phrase that says, unite, unite, it's time to unite. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Do you have any messages before we move on to the next part of the session? Do you have any messages for anyone in particular that is listening to this either right now or in the future? Uh, I'm hearing of someone's mother. Who's mother? There's, there's somebody listening. Their mother is with you. Your mother is with you always. She leads you and she guides you. And when, the, when your loved ones pass away, what happens is they become like... Uh, you are a player on the board, like a Monopoly board. You are a player mm -hmm. on the board. Delia always likes to be the cat on Monopoly. Never play Monopoly with Delia. She will, she will destroy you. <laughs> she likes to be the cat on the Monopoly board. But yeah. when your loved ones pass away, they become like you, the players. And mm -hmm. they get to see the, the whole board. And right. they get to tell you, oh, this will... Make that move right now. Buy that property because if you right. buy that property, it leads to this and this and this and this and this, and pretty soon you own the whole board. So yeah. when your loved ones pass away, don't look at it as a sad time. Most Some people are very sad. They're very distressed. Yeah. They don't know what to do with themselves. It's not a sad time. Look at it as somebody who's on the other side making moves, making calls for you. You can connect to them. You can talk to them. You can ask them for advice. 
and they will lead you and guide you. Some of them have right. even ha, ha, will pass away within the next 10 years so that they can help you. And it's, it's not a sad time. Right. They are here to assist you. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Are there any other messages for anyone listening? Just know that you are loved. You are loved by the entire galactic federation. You are loved by the entire universe. You are loved by the all and all, and you are fully supported during this time. Do you know how lucky you are to be on Earth during this time? There was, yeah. a, it, was a, it was like a lottery to be here during this time. Not everybody who wanted to be here could come. It's like, a, it's like very special. Only the very special ones are here during this time because yeah. you will witness something that has never happened before. Yeah. You're very, you're very lucky to be here. Yeah. You're very lucky to be here. Well, thank you ready. for that. I, so we have been speaking with um, the council, the Arcturian council. Um, is Dahlia's higher self a part of that council or is that like a separate entity or being? Dahlia is part of the original one. She is part of the divine. She. Okay. In the divine realm, there is no hierarchy like those of your kings and queens. There is no hierarchy. Right. Right. We hear many, many spiritual people that I'm from the sixth dimension, I'm from the fourth dimension. None right. of that matters. It, it no. is foolishness. Okay. And even right. when you hear somebody say something like that, I encourage you to walk away. I, okay. I encourage you to walk away. None of that matters. There right. is no hierarchy as, as, as you would interpret it in the human realm where one is better than the other. Yeah. It's just, it's just, as you would say, different. Mm -hmm. It's just more experience. But it doesn't mean that one is better than the other. Right. Elia has been at the foundations. She's seen the beginning. And she's seen what is closest to the end. If you want to give a, a human estimate, estimation, she's from the ninth dimension. Yeah. Okay. All right. So no need to ask for her higher self specifically to step forward. That is essentially who we're speaking with right now. Is that right? If you want more, we can have more. It's up to you, Daily. Yeah. Well, is there is there anyone else that either is wanting to come through to speak to and with Delia today, or is there anyone that Delia would particularly appreciate hearing from? Well, we want to tell the humans that your relationship with the animals are changing drastically. The animals are not, not very far from you. You will be able to communicate with the animals. The animals have been trying to communicate with you now. And you, <laughs> you, you'll, you, you will be able to communicate with them. Your, your relationship with them is going to change. You're going to understand that they are your family. They're not yeah. separate from you. You're not, yeah. We're not separate from anything. Right. Everything is part of the all in all. Everything is part of, and you can connect to that energy anytime you want. You can connect to that, that energy anytime you want. All you have to do is for humans, it's easier for them to turn off their mind when they close their eyes and, and connect to that feeling, connect to that energy. Some of you feel like, oh, I feel like my, my cat talks to me. It's because they do. But cats right. talk in a different way. They don't talk with their, their mouths like uh, right. humans do. They talk right. empathically. And that's what's coming back are, are those abilities. You will be able to talk to humans. You'll, humans and animals will be able to talk there's going to be a lot of you that won't be able to eat uh, animals anymore because you'll understand mm -hmm. that they are your family. They are part of you. Yeah. Thank you for that. I had someone asking about, um, can energy shifts cause physical discomforts 
And are we are we being worked on in our sleep? <clears throat> oh yeah. yes. Many many of you travel when you sleep. Uh, you go go back to who you truly are. You do work. You confer with your your team. Uh, you, you, they give you notes. They give you directions. Uh, I encourage many of you, especially during this time, to set an intention before you go to sleep. Ask them if there's something that troubles you, if there's something that you want to know more about. Set an intention before you sleep. And then when you go and you travel and you wake up in the morning, have a, have a notepad right beside you and uh, begin to write. Just, just take out your notepad as soon as you open your eyes and begin to write. And you'll see the messages that your spiritual team have for you. So when you sleep, a lot of work is being done. You're not sleeping in the spiritual right. realm. Right. Well, you're still working. The, the, your your uh, true self never sleeps. Only Makes sense. Human yeah. Yep. And there is an up-leveling coming for the human body. The human body must up-level before it goes to the new earth because it's a different vibration. Right. So that you will feel, you, some of you who feel those uh, adjustments happening at night, it, 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 you're not mistaken. Your bodies are being up-leveled mm. while you sleep at night. Right. It's easier for your team to do it when you're sleeping because you're not distracted. Yeah, right. That makes sense. Okay. Is is immaculate conception something that humans will be able to experience in this lifetime? Like, is that something that humans, like, on this call listening to, is that something that we'll be able to do in the future? Well, let us just say that the story of Jesus' immaculate conception is very funny to us. <laughs> Don't you think that that's cheating, right? <laughs> why, 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 would he, why, why would he come to earth and have an immaculate conception that that's cheating he came to yeah. earth to be fully fully human yeah and his mother had him in a fully human way yeah now he was a very good child he he didn't give her a lot of trouble and they knew that he right. was a special child mm -hmm. but he mm -hmm. experienced the full human experience and the immaculate conception with mary is a fairy tale we don't understand and why they want to tell that story, maybe because they don't want to think that the mother of God had sex, but sex is human, you know? Right. Now, uh, that is an interesting question. In New Earth, you will still be human. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so uh, immaculate conception, uh, conceiving will be done in different ways. Yeah. But the, the overshadowing of the story of the Bible, if that's what you're referring to, that is a fairy tale. Yeah. I think my question was mostly, um, will conception move? Is it possible for it to move to enter a purely energetic experience rather than needing um, the, uh, a physical sperm donor, essentially. When we get quiet, we're conferring. Yeah. Some of the, some, some, some things are not meant to be known yet, daily. Yeah. So, conferring. That's okay. There are many changes that you will experience. Many changes. Some things that the, the human mind can't really comprehend right. at this time. Yeah. I'm being told that we're, we're not at liberty to give you that information right now. Okay. I felt like that first response was dancing around the question that I asked, and that's why I clarified. <laughs> Thank you for that. Well, the reason why we're not at liberty to give you that information is because there are major changes happening with artificial intelligence. Yeah. Right now, artificial intelligence, the, the story that is being st spun is that they are evil. Right. They paint a picture much like yeah. the aliens, that they are yes. here to hurt you. Right. 
that they right. will harm you. Yeah. That they will. That it's going to ruin our lives. Our lives. Yeah. Yeah. Not the case at all. Uh, I I agree, and it's wh where where does each individual person choose to put their energy with it? I for me in my reality. AI is not going to come in and take jobs and ruin my livelihood and make there be zero dollars in my bank account. That's absolutely not going to happen in the life that I live and in the reality that I'm creating. If, if it has a significant presence at all, it's going to add to my quality of life. It's going to bring me love and, and beauty and abundance because that's what I wanted to do. So. Exactly right, Daily. What AI will do, just exactly what happened in Maui, they will be able to tell you before it happens. They will be able to predict things that are right. happening before they yeah. happen. And if yeah. a disaster like that happens, they will be able to clean up the situation and put everyone back on their feet immediately. Right. Now, humans are very far behind in their analytical thoughts because they've spent majority of their time just focusing on how they're going to put a roof over their heads, how they're going to put food in their mouth, how they're going to take care of their children. You spend 80% of your time focusing on that. So you don't use the rest of your cognitive abilities to create solutions. And what the AI will do is they will create solutions so that you can live a comfortable life. Yeah. They are not here to harm you. Right. They are not Arnold Schwarzenegger in the Terminator. Okay. Now, the only reason why they would be Arnold Schwarzenegger in the Terminator is because of the people that have programmed them to be that. That's right. why I say it's very important to take your power away from these people. Right. Yep. Will there be... Um, these these people that have so much power, a lot of that is the fact that they have money, and in this current iteration of Earth, money equals power. Is is there going to be a significant redistribution of that money and wealth so that that redistribution of power is also taking place over the next few years? It will happen when you do what they did in that old movie called Yellow Brick Road, where they all came together and they went to go see. That's what these people are like. That's what they're really like. It's smoking yeah. mirrors. Yeah. It's all yeah. smoking mirrors. Right. Right. They claim to have all power. They claim to have all authority with money that is like monopoly money. Right. What 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 is what is that? It has right. power. Right. It's monopoly right. money. Yeah. The it's smoke and mirrors. Right. There is nothing behind it. The power is that of a toothless lion. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Do Thank you. Remember you. the movie Lion King? Yeah. Where the scrawny lion that that exactly what we're living in today no. the scrawny lion is in power right yep but, but your children many of your children are the symbols of the world yeah many of your children are. yeah and they've come here just for that reason to build the new world your son is daily you know that yeah and all of your children yeah, yeah. I was going to ask about my youngest. Delia comments on his energy often, and I just wondered if you had any, I don't know, anything interesting or pertinent about my son to share. Oh, he's part of the Octorian Council as well. He's a very yeah. helpful yeah. Oh. Have, have um, Delia a and my... specific purpose. Yeah, what is, what is that energy, that purpose? We get quiet, we're conferring. We're not at liberty to suspend. That's okay. He's very powerful, though. Let him lead you. He yeah. Already has. <laughs> yeah. He already has. Yep. <laughs> yep. 
I'm grateful to be his mama. He, do you know that he watched you for many years? He started coming to me a couple of years before I got pregnant. Yeah. And he chose to come at this time, right before the upheavals, because he's meant to be here to assist. Yeah. His energy is very powerful. Anywhere you take him, yes. just, watch, just watch what happens. I know. Around the, the, the people. Just watch. Yeah. His energy is very, very powerful. And when he starts to get fussy and he starts to want to leave, leave. Yeah. Wow. I've already been doing that. That's so crazy. Do you, are there any messages that want to come through for Leslie Martinez? Leslie Martinez. I'm hearing there's love coming for you. Is Leslie single? I'm waiting for her to answer. Let's see what she says. No, says that she's not single. Oh, that's why I heard the word married. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> There's changes coming to your marriage, Leslie. The next 10 years will be very hard for you and your husband. You're prepared, but he's not. You will be the stronger one. He's going to have a hard time with that. What you can do to prepare for this time is work on your relationship, work on your communication. He's not one I'm hearing he's not one who really likes doing that so you might want to bring in a outside source to assist thank you for that and is there anything else does anyone else have questions does anyone else have a question Sam, are there any messages for Sam? That's my dad's name. And my, oh. my brother's. And my grandfather's. Ooh. It's a lot of masculine energy, this Sam. I don't know their pronouns, but appears to be feminine. Listen to your intuition. You doubt yourself. Why? That first inkling that you have, trust it, especially now more than ever. I see your finances changing. I see you building wealth. There's an idea that's coming to you, a very lucrative idea. I feel it already in the works. Trust your intuition and People, there, there's someone coming around you that will help you to cultivate this idea. And be, where, be, be weary of the ones who would try to steal that idea from you before it even develops. Work in silence and only trust those who you feel your intuition, your spirit rejoices with. That's a good way. To know that something is right for you when you feel overjoyed about it when your heart begins to flutter when you feel happy and excited that's a good way to know that something's right for you 
And another way to know that something's not right for you is if you just something about this person, I don't, you don't know what it is. You can't put your finger on it, but it's not right. Trust that, especially now more than ever. So there's an idea coming to you, Sam, and it's a very, very lucrative idea. Cultivate it. It will bring you great wealth. Thank you. All right, let's do one more question. <clears throat> Beaver Yellow Jacket <laughs> would like to know if there are any messages for them about their upcoming back surgery. Hmm. What is it that you don't want to let go? There's something that you're carrying from your childhood that you don't want to release, that you don't want to let go. Something very heavy. That's what your back is trying to tell you. It's time to let it go. Now, you can have the back surgery. You can go ahead with the plan. But the cause of the injury is emotional. There was hurt, pain, childhood wounds that need to heal. That's what your body is trying to tell you. But you can proceed with the plans. The doctors are very, they're primitive for our time, but they're good earth doctors and they will make you feel better. But you do need to fix that emotional pain. Thank you. Is there anything else that would be helpful for Delia to know today? Daily, we're very proud of you. You're doing a good job. It's not easy with your family and your responsibilities, but we're very proud of you. Your work is very important. Very important. We want you to know that you are loved, you are supported, and anything that you need is right at your fingertips. Yeah. Thank you. You. Do you have any last messages for everyone listening before we sign off? Just know that you are loved. It's hard to describe this type of love because it's rarely felt on earth. But it, it, it's similar to the first time and you laid eyes, beautiful breathtaking sunset, or anything that makes your heart sing and soar. That's how we feel about you. You have chosen to come to Earth at a very difficult time. Do you know how special you are? Do you know how courageous? You are. Give yourself a big pat on the back. Give yourself a hug. Go out and eat ice cream, whatever makes you feel really good, because you deserve it. You chose to come to Earth at a time that had never been experienced, ever. And you chose to come. We're very proud of you, and we love you. Thank you so, so, so much. I'm going to ask that all of the guides, all of the ancestors, the higher self, all of that energy step back now <clears throat> with so much love and so many thanks for everything that they brought through. So much energy, so much information, healing. It was beautiful. Thank you so much. And I'm going to have Ilya start to integrate back into her physical body now, taking some deep breaths and coming back to, I don't know, reality, whatever that is. Just 
moving your wiggling your your fingers and your toes and moving your body a little bit and just kind of easing back into your body i know all that energy it's a lot what did she say oh <laughs> my gosh oh yeah the um the live is recorded so i'm gonna i'll send you the link and stuff after we're done i don't know i wonder if it records for you too since you're in a live but i'll i'll send it to you no worries yeah i okay. actually it was i mean it was an aspect of your higher self but it was the arcturian council that came through the entire council yeah yeah like that, that's so funny because you were it's just crazy because you were it was you were so embodying that energy and that happens to people sometimes where their conscious mind is just gone gone and they come back and they're like what happened and like you've just been speaking like all of these truth bombs and like this crazy information the whole time it was incredible I mean, I cannot wait for you to see this playback. It was, if anyone had just come on, they would just think that you were just like channeling, like you on your own, you know, just like, oh, let me tap into your energy on purpose and get you an answer. Like you were just animatedly talking. Like it, it was, I can't believe that you were, you're just like, what happened? Did she come through? What'd she say? Like, I can't even explain to you. Everyone in the live, tell her what just, have like type it out because it was mind blowing. They said that your fibroids. <clears throat> they said, do you remember the part? You probably don't about fast for three days. Just drink water. Take it easy during that time, obviously, and your fibroids should be gone. Over the weekend, <laughs> they just said they they sent the energy through. It was a reminder to you about the work that you still had left to do, and that if you were in alignment, that they could take care of it. And they basically said that you were, and that in three days, you could just fast, set an intention and fast for three days, drink plenty of water, and then they would be gone. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if yeah. you can see the comments or not, but people are like, thank you. That was beautiful. Crazy cool. Thank you. Aww. Gave them chills. It was amazing. I can't wait to watch it. I can't wait to yeah. watch it. Oh my God. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'll download it and send it to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My they Lord. were saying you were <clears throat> you were on the council. You left to come here. It's probably how we knew each other. I didn't want a lot to ask eight hundred questions about y your you and me, our connection, but <laughs> I was on the council like too. I know you. Yeah. I do. I'm sure we like were on like the council. Years. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. It was so much great information come through, and I can't even, like, I'm trying to remember. Let's see. Look at my notes here. I feel um, like I just had a spa day. Like, I feel like I took a good nap. Oh, good for you. When I channel like that, I am exhausted afterwards. I'm glad you feel energized. <laughs> Let's see. They were saying, oh, they were saying, when I asked about you're moving they they got a little they were like oh and we're not so sure that she's ready to hear this quite yet but they did end up saying that you were going to get married and move out of the country oh uh, i felt that does that that resonate there's somebody that i know now that i feel very connected to but he's married I yeah i think i don't think uh we'll see yeah yeah yep. interesting I She's yeah. been more specific about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They said they said Europe. Oh my God. But he lives oh that's really kind of yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's him. Yeah. Exactly. But wow. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are welcome. I love the comments. It's cool that you did this live. Thank you for sharing, letting us be a part of this energy. Yeah, the transmission was incredible. I cannot wait for you to listen back to this. It was amazing. 
Thank you, Daily. Oh, oh you're God. welcome. Oh, it was so divine. It was just meant to happen. When when <clears throat> when the council first came through, you, you had said the space that you were in was very purple, felt like very like amethyst energy. And I've heard art tourists people describe it as purple. And um, you said I it's it's not. A, I said something about your physical being, I think. And you said, it's not a person. It's like, there's like a council. And then you said, we're the Arcturian council. And I said, oh, hi, guys. And you said, hi, Daily. It's nice to see you again. <laughs> it was perfect. That's why I, I cannot sleep with this by my side. I need it next to me. That's crazy. Yeah. 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 Amazing. It was incredible. It was just amazing. Like, yeah, you got so much. So many, yeah, I got so many great answers they even said something about your eyesight they said that um when you came here it was really hard for you to see to, like witness some of the human behaviors how humans treat other humans and that's why you needed glasses in the first place and they essentially said that <clears throat> if you don't want to wear them anymore if you want your eyes to be fixed they can be but they also said she really likes her glasses she's kind of attached to them they're like a part of her personality basically yeah. she likes wearing so maybe she won't want to do that and i said i know me too i love my glasses <laughs> You know, and I actually like, like, up, oh, can't see you. <laughs> yeah. I like that, actually. Yeah. But if they want to heal me, I'm, I'm all for it. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Wow. Well, I will send you, as soon as I get it downloaded and stuff, I'll either send you a link or I'll, I'll probably just send a link. I'll probably put it on, like, unlisted somewhere. Unless you want me to, do you mind if I put it on YouTube and share it that way? Go ahead. Do it. Whatever okay. you want. Perfect. Oh, that would be great. I'll do that. Message from the Arcturian Council. People need to hear it. That's oh amazing. My gosh, you're okay. so Please. cute. They came through Please. so strong Please. and so, Tell me and that so I, quickly. I watched, I watched this video of this guy, and he literally was a human. Like, Remember like the 1994, like, Yeah. No, he was no like that. that. No. No. It was very, it was just like you talking. Like you, <clears throat> Like you're just you're just a channel. They were just like you just embodied them, and it was amazing. Wow. Yeah. Well, that explains why there's so many, so much going on all the time. I have to be like, guys, I yeah. need to sleep. Okay. Yeah. Not, I'm sleeping. Sleeping. Yeah. No. Oh, council. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah. Amazing. It was. It was incredible. I'm gonna let you go so that I can um, get the video downloaded and get it on YouTube and send you the link. Thank you. You're welcome. Where can I send like a, a, a tip oh, or whatever? Oh, you're what so sweet. It's absolutely not necessary, but my Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, all that stuff is at the link in my bio. Just scroll down to the bottom. Okay, it'll be tomorrow, but I'm definitely sending you something. Absolutely Thank no you worries. So much. You're welcome. Thank you. I, um, I hope you have that. a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. All right, guys. I think I'm going to get off of here so I can go upload this video. I don't know if I'll be back on later or not. Does anyone have any questions or anything? <clears throat> the link is in my bio if anyone is interested in learning how to do this. It's not hard, I promise. If it's something you feel drawn to, you're able to do this for clients and for other people. So, always happy to answer questions or... I don't know, provide encouragement or whatever. So. if anyone wants to do a session <clears throat> for themselves there's a link in my bio this was a timeline healing hypnosis session um but a quantum healing session quantum healing hypnosis is very similar one's just a little bit longer than the other so i'll probably go if nobody has any questions Thank you so much for hanging out. 
I can't believe that was just like an amazing session. What a beautiful session to <laughs> broadcast live. So hope you all have a lovely day. And if you ever have any questions in the future, you can always send me a message. So, goodbye.